In this tutorial, I will show you how can we install Top6. So first of all, download Blender. And we can use Blender as an add-on or an, in an extension. And I think with Blender we have a nice graphic user interface. So download Blender USA, then go to GitHub and download the latest version. It's located here to Optics. 9.3.2017 and you should go to my account DMST1990 and to optics. There I extracted Blender. So I here's my Blender folder. I open it. I go to 278 script add-ons and there I need to paste my um, to optics folder. I extract that my two optics folder here. So I extract this file here on the top and I get this input. Input S and input T are two example files what I am using this time. No design space is an example file for if you have no design space. And in this case I want to install the Blender graphic user interface. So I go to Blender graphic user interface and I select this add-on. Then I copy that add-on in Blender add-ons and finish. Now I can start Blender. Blender here. And it's already there. If it's not here, you can go to File, User Preferences, Add-on, Select Mesh. And here you can click and it should, um, should be available here. And um, that's a new use, um, interface. So there are several options what you can use. I created an example folder in this case. There's my input S file and my input T file. My input S file is for a static analysis and input T is for a heat transfer analysis. So in this case, I select the solver. So you can select it here. You can click and select your solver ccx.exe. Um, I did an alias in this case in, in um, Linux, so I only need to type ccx. If you want to install it on Linux, you can type sudo app get install ccx and enter, and that's it. Or you go in the synaptics, synaptics package manager. And there you find the latest version of Calculix. So here's CCX. And if you install it like that, you can use only CCX here in this menu. If you use the Windows version, you need to download the EXE file. Um, I showed this in some other videos. I will do it in the next tutorial. On the heat transfer case, there I will do it for a Windows computer. Then I select the working directory. So in this case, I go to desktop example, and that's it. Iterations, I think I should use 10, maybe, maybe 7. I want to do it only for the static case. I can do it for both. So I don't only select the static one, I um, select the path on desktop, example, and that's my static user um, input file. Here's a weight factor. This only affects if you um, use a lot of input text. If you use heat transfer for ex this example, I weight the first one is three, the second one is three, so um, there's an equal weight between these physics types and you can higher or lower this value until 1.5 and 50. There are two other values, volume, volumina ratio and a penalty exponent and a material set. Um, you should leave it like that and you will be fine. You can change it if you have a little bit more experience or you can UMC in my master thesis how should you change it. the wrong 
Oh, they're wrong. So I tapped the wrong name of the solvers. It's CCX, not CXX. So that's why it didn't work. So if you select it, um, you will be safe. Um, I did a mistake here. Okay, let's see. The so um, running is it's running, and there are a lot of files, and we only need to go in this folder STL results, and we get some results. So I I open another Blender so that we can see how um, does this has changed. So I import some results. I go to example. STL result, I take the first three. I take this two. Import STL and we can see how it cha is changing. So according to um, this um, structure, um, I have here uh, fixed boundary conditions and here on the top of this model I have um, um, pressure force which is acting in this direction and I think um, it makes sense that he kills material on this side and on this edge because he doesn't need any materi um, material on this. Maybe this went in the wrong direction. If you get bad results you should um, rise the iterations up and you will get better ones. So in this case I take the 8 one. So that's our new result. Here is the force acting and here are some beam structures. How I should build up the system. Um, if you rise up the um, iteration f um, iterations you will get better results but it takes uh, more time in this case. Okay. That's it for this time. You can um, try a run with the thermal one. If you select here the thermal as a heat transfer part, you can um, run on a heat transfer topology optimization. Then you can wait a little bit if you want. That's it.